Hello, my dears, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 8, and I'm going to be doing my 33-week pregnancy update. And wow, a lot has happened since my 32-week pregnancy update. Well, my last one was 31 and 32-week pregnancy update. But anyways, I'm going to shut my mouth. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. <music> myself and I'm 140 pounds and I also just got weighed at my appointment yesterday if you didn't watch my vlogs and I have a lot of updates so I don't have to go to my high-risk doctor anymore which is so awesome those of you that don't know um, the baby wasn't measuring um, up to par I guess and the abdomen was measuring a lot smaller than everything else so I was having to go really really frequently to the doctor and um, not only my OB, but the high-risk ultrasound doctor. Um, but I recently went yesterday and they told me that I no longer have to go to um, see them anymore because the baby is growing adequately. So that is really good news and that's one thing. They also told me that I am anemic, which I already knew, but I guess the levels were pretty high. Um, it's kind of normal to be anemic during pregnancy but I feel like I'm super anemic like if I don't have ice and water on me those of you that watch my updates know you're like shut up but if I don't have ice and water on me I literally feel like I'm gonna faint and I have a lot of dizzy spells and that's what's happened in the last week or so the dizzy spells have gotten really really bad like progressively worse and I feel like it happens multiple times throughout the day and it just it really sucks and on top of that i'm sick garrick's sick wilder's sick so the whole house is sick and just being pregnant on top of being sick really sucks because i'm not able to take anything not that i ever really take medication or anything like that but during pregnancy i especially don't take any medication um except for like being sick that just really sucks that i'm not able to feel better but luckily we're all slowly slowly but surely feeling better so me being anemic they prescribed me an extra iron supplement so hopefully that helps the dizzy spells and like the harsh ice cravings because literally i'm telling you guys if i don't have the ice it's like I have to sit there until I get the freaking ice. It just, it sucks. Yeah, so hopefully the iron supplements help out a lot. Another thing I wanted to touch base on is I'm literally not sleeping anymore. Like I don't get any sleep anymore. And I said this with Wilder. I, I remember not being able to sleep either with Wilder's pregnancy, but um, I remember telling people like, I'm gonna get so much more sleep once the newborn is here. Obviously that, that, was not true and we got less sleep but this time i'm serious like i literally do not sleep during the night i feel like my body does not ever fully go to sleep and i'm extra exhausted during the day and i know that pregnancy makes you exhausted but i just i can't fall asleep and whenever i do actually fall asleep it's like it just feels like my body isn't actually sleeping and i'm aware and it's just, it really sucks. I don't know. Have any of you guys experienced that? Comment below and let me know. And let me know if you did anything to help you. Like any teas that made you feel better or any teas that made you sleep better or just like anything like that. Anything that is safe during pregnancy, let me know what you guys did or what you guys know of or what you recommend. And I would definitely try it out because I literally just, I have not been sleeping and it's really been kicking my butt yeah i'm just really exhausted by the time garrett gets home from work i feel like i ran a marathon and can barely keep my eyes open like it it just it really sucks and i wish i had more energy because like you guys know i've been in the nesting phase for like i feel like my whole pregnancy and i just recently i haven't been able to do anything that i want to do because i'll get started on something told you guys a million times but i'll get started on something and i can't freaking finish it and it makes me so angry because i i want to do all of these things and i want to clean and i want to do this and that and the other thing and I just don't have the energy so I need some energy boosters seriously another thing that has really been bothering me this past week is my c-section scar um, those of you that are new here I do have a 14 month old so 
I had a c-section obviously 14 months ago and my babies will only be 15 months apart but my c-section scar has really been irritating me recently and it's keloiding a lot it already did keloid like there's keloids all over it but um, recently it's just been super itchy and really like kind of painful to the touch like if I touch it it's just super uncomfortable maybe not painful but like super super uncomfortable and I don't know if that's because like I'm growing a lot right now or what it is but if any of you guys have experienced this comment below I'm definitely going to talk to my doctor about it but it's just really really bothering me like anything that is on my waist like I never really wear maternity pants but I have been recently because I can't have anything like touching my waist right there um, because it's just super uncomfortable and all my pants like my leggings that I wear that's all I wear but all of my leggings just lay right there on my scar and it's just it's I can't do it so I don't know what that is but yeah let me know if that has happened to any of you guys I'm sure it's due to me like growing and getting bigger everywhere but I don't know it's super freaking irritating as for cravings you guys know I always have to tell you what I'm craving but recently it's been tacos like tonight I was like Garrick what do you want for dinner and he was like not tacos again <laughs> because we've just been eating tacos all the time and I don't know what it is about just like eating a really good taco anytime really but especially now I know it's a pregnancy craving because I crave it all the time if I was normal I'd be like okay enough with the tacos but now I just I want them all the time in the middle of the night that's when I know it's a pregnancy craving whenever I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like I gotta have that because if you guys know and watch my updates I used to crave like chocolate and sweets really really bad and I would wake up and have them by my bedside because I I wanted to eat them in the middle of the night right whenever I woke up so yeah pregnancy cravings are a real thing and tacos are definitely my jam right now also like the mexican cheese i don't know what it is about that mexican cheese but i really really love it and i need water this is what i mean i always have to have ice and water by me and i just get these like feelings of like if i don't have it i'm gonna faint it's crazy it's the weirdest feeling i i don't know do any of you guys like am i alone and do any of you guys feel like that i know with like being anemic sometimes you can crave ice they made it seem like it was just like such a weird thing i don't know maybe i'm weird i don't know also i wanted to update you guys on my journey with going dairy free i told you guys in my previous update that i'm like weaning myself off of dairy due to breastfeeding if you guys want to know more in depth of it just go ahead and click here and you guys can watch but to keep it short and simple it's it is really difficult and like i said i've been craving tacos a lot with the mexican cheese so that has been a struggle for me but other than that it really isn't as hard as i thought it would be other than cheese i just i really love cheese but i know i can do it um we will be doing probably a grocery haul here soon and i think we are going to incorporate a lot of less dairy garrick still consumes dairy so we're still gonna have dairy products in the house but i don't know he says he'll he'll go dairy free with me but i doubt it because <laughs> it really is hard just to like completely cut it off that's why i started to like kind of wean myself off but yeah and how many more days three days i have to completely just cut it off well i mean i don't have to but i'm going to in three days and i know that it will be worth it especially if the baby is like wilder was and just has a milk protein allergy number one and just it was really hard on um his belly whenever he was younger so i'm just trying to completely avoid all of that because when wilder was a baby it was it was really 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 hard so that is why I'm going dairy free. Anyways, besides the point, it is a little difficult, but like I said, I have three days and I know I can do it. I just need to stop craving those freaking tacos and Mexican cheese. This past week, I've been having contractions a lot more frequently, and I know they're just probably like Braxton Hicks contractions, obviously, because they don't last long and they're not like consecutive, but they are 
pretty strong and my, I feel like my belly is always tight now. And I'm a small person, I have a really short torso so I, I don't really have any room to work with so I think that's one of the reasons why I always feel so tight and like I have no room because I don't. But I can definitely feel contractions a lot in this past week along with back pain. The back pain is getting pretty incredibly awful. And I've had menstrual like cramps as well, which really sucks, but I keep taking for granted like I forget that I haven't had a period in almost nine months and I just I, I feel like I take it for granted every month and I know I'm it's gonna suck whenever I get it back. I hate having my period, I hate it so much, and just whenever I have menstrual cramps, I think about that and how much I just I hate the crampy feeling the groggy crampy feeling it's awful and I've just been feeling that here recently as well I also told you guys in my last updates that I've been super emotional lately that has not changed at all and I just feel like I feel everything ten times as worse or ten times as great and I guess that can be a good and a bad thing obviously but yeah the hormones are still crazy and not sure when that will go away, how far postpartum that will go away. Comment below when you guys stopped feeling hormonal and more like yourself after you gave birth, whether it was cesarean or vaginal birth. I'm really curious. breaking out really bad I don't know if that's due to pregnancy or not but I am breaking out really bad not just on my face but like my shoulders are now breaking out and that really sucks but yeah I think that is all I can think about for this week it's weird not doing these videos with Garrick because we're doing vlogmas so every video I wanted to make it a point to have him in the video even though he works so much we just we're trying our best to just incorporate a family vlog together every single day and it does get challenging but it just it's weird sitting down and filming a video by myself if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would love to have you join the family and don't forget to turn on your little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of our videos we're doing vlogmas every single day this month so definitely stay tuned also i gotta get garrett garrett What are you grateful for today, Vivian? I, I am thankful for you. No, no. What do you think? No, I was really today? missing you today. Mm. So I'm thankful. Lip gloss? Mm. I am grateful for my body pillow because even though I can't get quality sleep, I feel like it really does help and like puts my belly up, gives it, what is that word babe, finish my sentence, Ooh. gives it uh, support, gives my belly support, so that's what I'm grateful for today is my body pillow, amongst every other thing that you guys know this challenge is to just realize what you're grateful for, big or small, during that specific day. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of our family. We love you guys so much. We will see you tomorrow. And keep it Christmas. Christmas.